Hello and welcome to Imago. This time I bring a full tutorial about the Imago Smart Percent solution. I will be using an AOS Prime, however, the settings and steps are the same for any other AOS that comes with Smart Percent solution. First, let's go to the AOS and open the Smart Percent app from the home screen or from the apps list. Then, we need to install the Smart Percent software on our laptop. For that, open the browser and go to imago.us. Then go to Solutions, choose Smart Percent, and scroll all the way down until you see these two icons. You can use Smart Percent on your Windows or Mac computer. In my case, I have previously installed the software, so I will go directly to the app and open it. First, you have to choose from the device list. Choose the device name to which you want to connect. The name can be seen here. In this case, I will connect to Smart Percent Prime and click on Connect. Once connected, you will be able to see a window popping out in your AOS welcoming you. On your computer, you will have these two options, Share Screen and TV Mirror. First, let's explore the Share Screen option. By clicking on Share Screen, I will start to share my screen from my laptop to the AOS wirelessly. If I click on the Smart Percent icon again on my laptop, I will have the option to pause or stop. If I click on the pause option, the display on the AOS will freeze. This is useful when you don't want to share some content from your device. To unfreeze the display, just click back on the Smart Percent icon and click on the play button. If I click on the stop button, I will stop sharing my screen but I am still connected to my AOS. To completely disconnect your laptop from the AOS, just click this icon. Now, let's go back to our AOS and see more about the settings. Let's start with the first icon from the right to the left. On the top, we have the device name. Feel free to customize the name to any name you want. To change it, just press the edit button on the side and write the new name. I will add the number 12 for this example. Once done, press the check button next to the name. Now, you can see that the name has changed on the main screen and also on my laptop. I'm going to change it back to the original name. Next is the connection mode, and we have three options. By default, the device name option will be selected, meaning that anyone can connect to our device just by choosing its name. We can enable a password, which will be automatically selected, however, we can edit it by pressing here. Let's see an example, I'll change it to 636363. On my laptop, when I try to connect to my AOS, this window pops out asking for the password. I write down the password and I am connected again. We can press this icon to reset the password and press here to disable the password. Now, from the other two options, we can select the PIN code 6 digits option which is similar to the example I just showed you, but the difference is that this pin code is visible on the display, while your AOS name moves to the corner. This helps when you only want the persons in the room to have access to your AOS. When the pin code 8 characters option is selected, it is the same as the previous option, but 8 characters instead of 6 digits, for a more secure password. Next is the device name floating window. When you enable this option, the name of your AOS will be always visible on the top of the screen. This is useful when you start your presentation, but the people keep coming into the room. With this option, you don't need to go back to the main screen to show them the AOS name because it is going to be always visible here. The next option is multiple screens. You can disable or restrict the number of screens you can share to your AOS with this option. Smart Percent allows you to share up to 16 devices at the same time for the models AOS Plus and AOS Prime, and up to 9 devices for the AOS Lite Android and Panorama, as well as for our product Smart Percent X20 Pro, which you can be connected to any monitor to use the Smart Percent features. Next is the option Show Device Name on Screen. When you enable this option, you will be able to see in the very top left corner which device is sharing screen. Following this, we have the Auto Full Screen. When you enable this option, Smart Percent will automatically set the screen that you are sharing into full screen mode. 
Next is the auto start on boot. If you use your AOS mainly for the smart percent features, you can enable this option and every time you turn on your AOS, the smart percent will be launched and ready to be used. At the end, we have AirPlay, Miracast and Chromecast options which you can use, but we recommend you install the smart percent software on your laptop for better results and more features. The second icon from the right to the left is the Moderator Control Center. Before, in the settings, we learned how to ask for authorization to connect to your AOS. Now, from those devices connected, you can control who can or can't share screen. In the first option, you can allow, disable or ask for authorization for sharing screen. Let's see an example. Let's select Need Authorization. On my laptop, I am already connected to the AOS. I click Share Screen and a window pops out saying that I need to wait for permission. At the same time, in the AOS, a window appears asking if I deny or allow this device to share screen. I will choose allow and automatically I start sharing screen. Before explaining the second option from the moderator control center, first we need to learn the second main feature of SmartPresent, which is called TV Mirror. With this feature, you will have the capability to do reverse broadcast from your AOS display to other devices such as tablets, laptops, phones, etc all these up to 100 devices at the same time. The only requirement is that everyone is using the same network. From now on, every presentation, document or anything being displayed on the AOS can be replicated on my laptop. This is great for the people at the back of those large classrooms or meeting rooms. Another great thing here is that not only I can view the content from my AOS, but I can also control it. Now, with this in mind, we go back to the Moderator Control Center and jump into the second option called View, Control and Wireless Annotation. Here, you can allow the persons who are using the feature of TV Mirror to only view, view and control, or disable this option. For example, if I select View only, I still can view what is displayed, but I cannot control the AOS from my laptop anymore. Select All Allowed to have full access and control or select Need Authorization to choose who can or who can't have control of your AOS. The next option is the Floating Moderator button. You can choose between these four options and it refers to the quick access icon for this Moderator Control Center, which is this one. We recommend you keep the Auto Mode, but you can change it accordingly to your needs. Next, you will have the list of devices that have connected to your AOS. In this case, it's only me. You can disconnect the device from this list by pressing this button. Allow or disallow the user from using the TV mirror by pressing here. And you can press this button to select the device for share screen. On the bottom, we have three options. Broadcast, Display Group and Smart Percent. If we press on Broadcast, we can see the list of the persons who can broadcast the display, as well as their IP address. Next is the Display Group which is a great feature for those institutions or companies that have more than one AOS or X20 Pro in the same meeting room, auditorium or classroom. This option allows you to create a group of AOS or X20 Pro to display and control wirelessly the content from one main AOS. For example, here I have an AOS Plus next to me. As mentioned, AOS Plus comes with Smart Percent, so let's create a group. On the AOS Prime, I'll search for this AOS Plus and click on the checkbox. Now, the Plus is part of the group where the Prime is the main AOS. I will open the browser and as we can see, the AOS Plus is duplicating the AOS Prime. And we can also control the main AOS from the other AOS added to the group. In this example, either from the AOS Plus or from my laptop, I can control the Prime. If you want to end the group connection, just uncheck the devices. Now, this AOS Plus has disconnected. We go back to the display group settings and on the duplicate displays option, we have three options. To understand the difference between enable and only valid in client screen sharing, let's see this example. I have three AOS on the display group on the left, my main AOS in the center, and an external device which is in this case a laptop. If I select enable for the display group settings, everything displayed 
on the main AOS will be broadcasted to all the AOS in the group. If I use the share screen feature from the laptop to my main AOS, the display group will also broadcast the laptop's display. If I disconnect the laptop, the group of AOS will broadcast the main AOS display again. Now, let's select only valid in client screen sharing. Now the group of AOS is not duplicating the main AOS display because with this option, they are not allowed to duplicate the main AOS unless there is an external device sharing screen. Let's connect again the laptop and share screen. Now, automatically the AOS group is duplicating the screen. The last option is invitation for joining display group, where you can accept invitations automatically, get notifications or disable them. Finally, we go back to the bottom of the moderator control center and we can see the third option called Smart Percent, which takes you back to the main Smart Percent home screen when you press it. Now, let's go to the next icon, the third icon from the right to the left. This is just a quick access for the display group settings that I just explained. So we will skip it and go to the next icon, which is the BYOM. BYOM stands for Bring Your Own Meeting. This means that we can start a video call from another device, such as my laptop, but using the microphones and camera from the AOS. I can also use any other external camera plugged into my AOS. Depending on your AOS model, you can choose an external camera from this icon, while in other models, you can choose it directly from your video call platform, such as Meet, Zoom, Imago Flash, etc. Now, to use the BYOM feature, you have to enable it from the Smart Percent main screen by selecting this icon. If it is not properly enabled and you try to use the BYOM during the video call, you may have a blue screen error just like this one. Now let's go back to the Smart Percent main screen and select the BYOM icon. Once selected, you can start a video conference using the camera and mics from your AOS. But if you also select share screen, you can also use the AOS speakers as well. So I'm going to use Imago Flash for this example. I will go to settings, video, and under camera, you can select which camera you want to use. Now I change it to my laptop's camera. I go back to the same settings and choose cast virtual camera, which is going to be the name of your BYOM cameras. At the same time, you can choose which mics you want to use under the audio settings. In case that you still have the same blue error and you are using a web-based video conference platform, verify that you have allowed the camera permissions in your browser. For that, go to Settings, Privacy and Security, Site Settings, Camera, and make sure that the option Sites can ask to use your camera is on. If you still have the error and you are using a Mac, then go to Settings, search for Camera Extensions, and confirm that Smart Percent is enabled. Also verify in your system information under camera that the cast virtual camera is detected. After the VYOM, the next icon is Cloud Broadcast. If you enable this option, you can cast the AOS screen to other devices. To use it, press Enable Broadcast and follow the steps. Go to broad.cast.app and enter the ID given in the Smart Percent. It is similar to the TV mirror that I explained before, with some differences. The advantage is that you can share your screen with any device even if the network is different. The disadvantage is that the AOS cannot be controlled. It is a view-only feature. To stop sharing, you just need to go to Smart Percent main screen and click on Disable Broadcast. The last icon is Webcast. Webcast allows you to share screen from your device to your AOS, but with the same advantage and disadvantage as the previous cloud broadcast. Once enabled this option, follow the instructions. Go to casts.app and enter the ID from your AOS. After that, a window with a four-digit password will pop out on your AOS. Enter the password and choose which tab or window you want to share. Once chosen, you will start sharing your screen, but again, only view mode, you cannot control your device from the AOS. However, you can share screen from anywhere, no matter the network you are connected to. To stop the webcast, just press stop sharing from your device.
I will show you an example of using the TV mirror and screen sharing with multiple devices. Here, I am using the reverse broadcast feature, which is a TV mirror. I can see the display from the AOS on these five devices. Also, I can control the AOS from any of those devices. Here, I only have five devices, but you can do this with up to 100 devices at the same time. And this is an example of sharing screen. In this case, among laptops and smartphones, I got nine devices. I can not only display all the devices on the AOS, but I can also control each of those nine devices from the AOS itself. This was a long but complete tutorial about the Smart Present. I hope you have learned some new features to use in your presentations or collaborations with this solution. Thank you for watching.